my time involved with the, with the Gordon Craig Theatre and the Sports Hall was when it was still a car park. In fact, when we were trying to, to sell it to the wider populace, as you might say, by saying, guess what this space is going to be? It was just a, a, a cinder-covered car park. I came to Stevenage in 1965 to teach at Barnwell School and uh, at about that same time, Stevenage Sports Council was created uh, on the uh, initiative of the Central Council of Physical Recreation, which uh, was around prior to the uh, English Sports Council uh, coming into being. Uh, the idea of the local sports councils was to try to create more activity within the community for, for ordinary people. We soon began to realise that we required uh, better facilities. And we were coming from the sports side, of course. Uh, the Arts Guild um, uh, hadn't, uh, hadn't been invented yet um, uh, in those days. Uh, about three years after, I think, Sports Council uh, came along. And we realised that something was going to have to be done that was drastic. Now, what the government did do at this time was to come up with a policy not of providing sports halls, but providing joint facilities, sports and arts facilities, joint projects. And the local authority, all credit to them, they decided that uh, they would go for a Stevenage Leisure Centre which was to comprise sports facilities and arts facilities. In other words, a theatre and ancillary facilities to, uh, to back it up and do voluntary work in the community. We decided from on the sports side, we, we created a Stevenage Sports Trust. Uh, and that was looking particularly for the sports facilities. We, we, we didn't mind the arts facilities being being tacked on to the sports facilities at all. Uh, we didn't mind mixing with the arty farties by any, uh, by any means at all. Um, they were a bit disenchanted with mixing with sweaty sports folk, but uh, I think they got over it. Um, and of course, Ray Gorbing was, a, was, was across both sides. He was a thespian as well as a, as a sportsman. We had a, a particularly uh, clever um, officers uh, within the council. One was called Ted Bowers. He was the town clerk, as they were called in those days. And the other guy was Richard Hughes, Dickie Hughes, who was the, the treasurer. And Dickie came up with this idea of going uh, after a uh, merchant bank, which was called, I believe, Warburgs. Uh, I think they're still around now. Um, but um, it was a scheme called Leaseback. The big comment that Dick Hughes, the treasurer, said that's always stuck in my mind um, and resulted in him uh, being given his nickname. He said that um, because the government didn't like this scheme, it was a it was a loophole, and the, and it was as soon as Stevenage galloped through the loophole that the government uh, shut it. Um, so we got through just in time, and Dick Hughes, who knew he was going against what the Wilson government at the time wanted to achieve, um, uh, which was don't spend any money, you know, let's keep it all in the bank and look at it. Um, uh, he, he said, well, he said, we'll either end up with the finest sports and arts centre in the country or we'll all end up in jail. Well, happily, we did all end up in jail and we ended up with what a few local cynics um, termed the orange elephant. Um, I don't know whether you realise it, but uh, the name of the theatre um, very nearly um, became the Danesgate Theatre um, before the name of uh, Gordon Craig uh, had, had come to public attention, really. I don't think any of us, or many of us locally, um, had, had heard of, um, have heard of uh, Gordon Craig. But um, uh, the council took the decision uh, to call it the Gordon Craig Theatre and not the Danesgate Theatre. Um, and um, really, it's, it's been a success story ever since. And so many people, I mean, Brian Hall, Councillor Brian Hall, uh, he, was the, he was the big driving force 
behind this, the, the political force. I mean, the Borough Council um, was totally behind it, um, uh, and everybody wanted it to be a success, which I think it most certainly has.